Buongiorno. Hello, everyone. On behalf of my co-authors, I am honored to present our research work entitled A Decade of Scholarly Research on Open Knowledge Graphs at the Eric Colling 2024 conference. Before we begin, I have to express my gratitude to Willem Zohar from ETH Zurich, Switzerland, for his outstanding contributions to the development of the final output. As well, I need to acknowledge the support provided by the Wikimedia Foundation in funding our participation to the conference. Finally, I have to thank Masakana and Sison Kibiotech, two African grassroots communities for computer science research, for managing the research working needed for the creation of this scholarly work. Let's now introduce our research structure named Data Engineering and Semantics. Well, it is a research unit at the University of Sfax, a top tier Tunisian public university at the top of computer science rankings in Africa. Our research unit is mainly specialized in data and knowledge engineering, social network analysis, big data, and open science. It has a data center and is headquartered within the Faculty of Sciences of Sfax. We are currently open for any collaboration. So if someone would like to work with us, please reach out to us. Here are our contact details. So let's delve into the topic of our presentation. We'll begin with a short refresher on open knowledge graphs. As you see on the left, those graphs are databases that represent concepts as nodes and describes them using statements in the form of triples, subject, predicate, and object. This makes these databases both human-readable and machine-readable. Some of these databases are fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. This is what we call open knowledge graphs. They are available for free across the internet. Examples are Wikidata, Dpedia, Yago, and Babinet. The latter is developed by Zapienza NLP and is well known here in Italy. Open knowledge graphs are advocated as valuable databases for driving various applications, including natural language processing. Many lexical semantic open knowledge graphs have been created, such as Babnet. Natural language processing community should be aware of that. Despite the importance of open knowledge graphs, this effect on research is still not quantified. This is what we will try, be trying here to solve. We we'll do this by retrieving scholarly publications about the topic from Scopus, a bibliographic database maintained by SCVR. Then we will verify all the retrieved publications by hand to eliminate odd ones. After that, we will use Matplotlib to create several plots about the characteristics of the publications. And finally, we will study the evolution of the topical coverage of this research field by co constructing the key co-occurrence networks for five periods between 2013 and 2022 using an open source software called Post Viewer. Now let's see what we found out about open knowledge graph research. Well, we see that the early number of publications steadily increased over the years, proving that the field is still growing. We also find that the paper received a, a leverage of three citations after three years from its publication and an average of five citations after eight years of its publications. This show, shows that working on this field can be used for, to generate impactful research outputs. When we see the citation distribution across the papers, we find that 31% of the papers, mostly new ones, did not get citations. The distribution itself follows an inverse power law so-called no kind distribution, meaning that only a few papers, 3%, received 
a considerable number of citations, 100 or more. When we verify these highly cited publications, we find out that they are mostly descriptions of open node graphs, where general purpose, like Wikidata and Wikipedia, and biomedical databases are taken the lead, and linguistic databases like Babinet are lagging behind them. This means that lexical and linguistic open node graphs are not developed and be used as it should be. Here is a call for action to change this situation. When we analyze the countries behind open node graph research, we find that the G7 countries are taking the lead. We find the US first, Germany third, the UK fourth, Italy fifth, uh, France sixth, uh, Canada eighth, and Japan 12th. By contrast, we found a significant presence, although their contributions are not uh, are very limited when normalized by publication, uh, by population, I mean, uh, of BRICS countries. We find, in fact, China second, India seventh, Russian Federation 14, and Brazil 15th. The other existing countries are either developed countries collaborating with G7, like Spain, or developing countries collaborating with BRICS to a lesser extent, like South Korea. When seeing the main target conferences for open knowledge graph research, we find that they are mainly related to semantic web, data management, natural language processing, or artificial intelligence. ACL, the primary conference for natural language processing, is surprisingly having the best citation impact for open node graph research. While semantic web conferences, primarily ESWC, ISWC, and W3, are the research venues publishing the most of open node geography search. When seeing the target journals for this field, we find that these journals are mainly application-oriented, multidisciplinary one, with the few exceptions of uh, semantic web journals, uh, like semantic web journal, uh, journal of semantic web, uh, journal of web semantic, knowledge-based systems, expert systems with applications that are renowned journals in knowledge engineering. This proves the considerable interest of the research community in finding applications of open knowledge graphs beyond computer science covering fields like biomedicine. Well, let's move now to the top keywords. Through our analysis of the top keywords of open knowledge graph research, we found out that the basic terminology of the semantic web field is featured during all the period between 2013 and 2022. We found also that several keywords are mainly, have mainly appeared during some periods, mainly three big periods. Well, the first period between 2013 and 2016 is characterized by works on the creation and querying of open knowledge graphs. The second period between 2017 and 2019 defines multidisciplinary applications of open knowledge graphs using deep learning and deep embedding. And the third period between 2020 and 2022 urges the move towards open science and the mass development and scalability of open knowledge graphs. Well, the evolution of the topical effort, uh, coverage of the field will be further analyzed through the gen generation of the keyword concurrence networks for five distinct periods across the last decade, which we will do now. 
Okay. Well, the analysis of the keyword co-occurrence networks for 2013-2014 reveals three main keyword clusters. First, the blue cluster. This cluster highlights the development of knowledge-based systems using open source software for various applications such as natural language processing information retrieval and semantic web extraction. It also emphasized efforts to establish semantic web standards and language and languages for knowledge representation in open knowledge graphs. The red crash cluster uh, reveals that there is there are significant interactions between open knowledge graph applications in fields like chemistry, medicine, genetics, and bioinformatics. In fact, this cluster focused on building knowledge graph to knowledge bases for omics research and medical education, as well as the processing bibliographic database for information retrieval and research analysis. Finally, the green cluster indicates the integration of open resources like ontologies, Wikipedia, uh, and linked open data cloud for constructing and enriching open knowledge graphs. It also highlighted the development of applications for social network analysis and data mining in medical context. After that, research during 2015-2016 and 2017-2018 continued to emphasize similar themes including the integration of open knowledge graphs in clinical medicine and bioinformatics, yellow and blue clusters, algorithm development for structured data extraction, red cluster, and the use of machine learning for knowledge graph training and arrangement, yellow and red class. Additionally, efforts were made to develop infrastructure for hosting and processing open knowledge graphs driven by semantic web standards and open source software, the green class. From 2019 onwards, research trends in open knowledge graphs shifted towards developing knowledge-based systems for various applications, integrating free resources to support open knowledge graphs and emphasizing the fair principles for data integrations. The COVID-19 pandemic spurred interest in medical applications of open knowledge graphs. New development included using open knowledge graphs for cultural heritage and IoT-driven industry, and integrating them with deep learning techniques and language models for novel machine learning algorithms. There was also a focus on developing open knowledge graphs for natural languages, social interactions, and cybersecurity algorithms to ensure network security and prevent adversarial attack. So to sum up, research on open knowledge graphs extended a lot as new concepts kept emerging. The pace of the development of the field has challenged research communities to catch up with the industry innovation of the field. That's why the triple helix relation between government, research, communities, civil society, and industry is required. Encouraging cross-disciplinary research is needed, and a more detailed analysis of the topic is useful. That's all. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in Arabic, French, English, or Italian. Here are my contact details. I will be here to answer. Thank you.